Al Murtajiz, as presented by the Pakistan Air Force PAF, in August 2025, marks a significant point in the country's continued development of unmanned aerial capabilities. Although details surrounding this drone remain limited, its brief appearance during a commemorative event indicates a shift in institutional priorities, away from traditional, crude platforms alone, and toward an integrated model of combat operations that places increasing reliance on unmanned systems. The displayed model of Al Murtajiz was not an operational unit but a mock up, likely produced for demonstration and conceptual messaging rather than practical testing. This is not unusual in defense development cycles. Conceptual designs often precede actual flight prototypes by months or years and serve to signal future operational goals. In this case, the PAF used the opportunity to introduce the broader public, and possibly international observers, to the next phase of its strategic ambitions in aerial warfare. The visible features of the drone indicate a number of things. First, the frontal air intake suggests the drone is designed for jet propulsion, using a small turbojet engine to achieve higher speeds than propeller-driven platforms. This positions Al Murtajiz in a different category from slower, reconnaissance-focused UAVs, aligning it more closely with offensive strike or fast response intercept roles. Second, the shape of the airframe was relatively compact with what appeared to be narrow, retractable wings. This implies a focus on portability and launch flexibility. It may be designed to launch from the ground using catapults or canister-based systems, allowing it to be deployed in forward or improvised locations. Its size and configuration also suggest a focus on reducing radar visibility, a necessary characteristic in contested airspace where survivability depends on avoiding early detection. While the PAF did not release technical specifications, on-site personnel did provide limited insight into the intended mission scope. Al Murtajiz, according to these statements, is being explored as a multi-role unmanned asset. It could be used to intercept incoming air threats such as low-flying cruise missiles or guided munitions. This kind of drone would need to respond rapidly and autonomously to airborne threats, making speed in real-time decision-making critical design parameters. The second potential use case mentioned was loitering munitions or kamikaze rolls, where the drone would circle over a target area and then dive into a target on command, destroying itself in the process. The third speculative role includes electronic disruption or decoy operations, meaning it could simulate a crewed aircraft to distract enemy defenses or disrupt radar systems and communications during an air operation. The timing and manner of this presentation are significant. PAF has for several years been preparing for a doctrinal and technological shift toward what is known in military strategy as manned-unmanned teaming MUMT. This approach does not treat drones merely as reconnaissance tools or auxiliary weapons platforms but instead integrates them as active participants in air operations. In a MUMT scenario, a piloted aircraft might control or coordinate with one or more drones, using them to extend surveillance, saturate enemy defenses, or strike targets without directly exposing the pilot to danger. The pilot becomes more of a mission coordinator, and the drones act as extensions of the aircraft's combat capability. The concept is not only technically demanding but also requires a rethinking of command structures, communications, and battlefield awareness. The inclusion of artificial intelligence and autonomous functions becomes important, especially as the number of coordinated drones grows. A system like Al Murtajiz, operating alone or in groups, could be part of a layered defense strategy or offensive operation. For example, it could be sent into high-risk zones ahead of piloted aircraft to trigger enemy responses or occupy radar attention, thereby creating openings for other assets. It could also act independently to strike vulnerable infrastructure or mobile targets without the delay of remote command approval, assuming onboard decision-making systems reach that level of sophistication. While no details were provided regarding the software, communication links, or production plans, the unveiling of this drone fits a broader pattern. The PAF has been incrementally developing its unmanned capabilities, moving from small surveillance drones to loitering munitions, and now toward more complex platforms like Al Murtajiz. This pattern reflects a calculated, phased development model. Each new category of system builds upon the technical lessons and infrastructure of the one before it. This stepwise approach also allows institutional experience to grow alongside the technology. For example, Integrating even basic loitering munitions into a combat framework provides valuable operational data on flight control, reliability, electromagnetic vulnerability, and operator decision timelines. These insights can then be transferred to more advanced platforms. A drone like Al Murtajiz, if developed fully, 
would likely benefit from those prior phases of experimentation and use. There is no confirmation yet that al Murtajiz is in active flight testing or has reached prototype production. Its appearance, however, suggests that the concept is far enough along to be considered part of the near future toolkit, rather than a distant speculative idea. By publicly displaying it, even briefly, the PAF is signaling that such capabilities are not only desirable but being prioritized. The broader significance of this development lies in how it reflects a changing airpower doctrine. Traditional metrics of air superiority, based on numbers of piloted aircraft or the sophistication of individual jets, are being redefined. Unmanned platforms allow for more flexible, distributed, and persistent aerial presence. They are less expensive to manufacture, require no human life to operate, and can be adapted for roles that are too dangerous or dull for human pilots. In an era where asymmetric threats, contested airspace, and rapid response scenarios dominate military planning, platforms like al Murtajiz are not optional experiments, they are becoming necessary elements of a modern air force. While the current status of al Murtajiz is still unclear in terms of operational readiness, its public presentation reflects both confidence and intent. It represents a forward-looking step in the Pakistan Air Force's shift toward autonomy, multi-role unmanned platforms, and integrated combat systems. The pace and success of its development will depend not just on technical innovation but also on institutional readiness to absorb and adapt to the capabilities it offers.